Hi guys. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Deb. Welcome. Hey, feel free to like and subscribe because we're getting real close to that thousand and every little bit helps. So anyway, I'm here with the team you haul today and I'm do these quite regularly and Teemu is an online shopping site that is generally a lot cheaper than other places and they have free shipping and while I'm at it I also want to remind people to go in every now and then where it says your orders and up to 30 days if that price if the price you paid is higher than the price it is that day they give you that money. They can refund you, you that money. I haven't refunded to my Timu account, you know, so I can just use it. They use it before they actually use my cash. But that also have where you can put it back to your original source, but I prefer to do it just back to my account. Also, play those games. You know, yes, they take a while. But I did find out that when you make a purchase, you know how you get extra, like, fish food or whatever you can also go over to farmland and they give you the bonus there too so I've been playing them both daily so I mean and they will if you keep going in there and keep going in there they'll extend your time especially even if you have like a $20 order they'll extend your time so that's I just want to let everybody know about all that before I ever got started and yes we're a day late and a dollar short because it was delay a gate. It was homecoming yesterday and grandma slept half the day because I'm I just wasn't feeling up to par and so I said, Well, okay. Then my, then my crazy butt says, Oh, I gotta go to the post office in the morning. So what do I do? I stay up all night so I can make sure I make it in time. Cause I'm gonna have to just go go and count over and get a post office box. But anyhow, let's get on with it. Get this thing, first thing I'm getting, I paid nine forty nine for. And if you've been on my channel a while, you real, you know that I live in Southeast Ohio. I don't even know what that was. Well, something fell off the cord. Something fell out of it, but anyway, I live in southeastern Ohio, and we lose power a lot. I I believe it's because of trees, you know, where we have storms are worse, but we lose it in the winter, too, so, you know, because the ice gets on the trees, and it, so I got this, and this is solar, and not only is it a light, which I don't know if it'll work now because it's been in the box, oh, yeah. As that kind of light, it has a light there, and that's white LED, like a work light. I don't know what this one. Oh, this on um, this one you go with this in. So let me guess. Can you do both ends? At, yeah, you can do both ends at the same time. Wonder if you can do. Hmm. Well, how do you get that one on then? Now I'm all confused. I bet you do this. Yeah, you turn that one on there. I wonder if you turn this one on. Oh, that one goes all three of them. Ooh, that's bright. And that's just two. But anyway, it also has a USB charger. So I thought that would be an, just a nice nifty little pick up for you know winter storms and I don't know how to shut it off now. <laughs> there I got it off but yeah I, I thought that'd be really nifty for winter storms and things like that which also with the kids being down in Louisiana with all those hurricanes I'm sure that they'll find a use for it if I don't that is my microwave beeping and I will shut it off I forgot all about it it's just brewing tea and this thing, I honestly did not expect to work at all. And it's a ne portable nebulizer. Now this thing, 
I don't, it has, it comes with both child and adult mask. It has, of course it has, you know, your part. You can use this as a mouthpiece. So you can just use it as a mouthpiece and do it that way. If I don't lose all the parts. Or, it has a place for batteries. Or you can plug it in right here with USB-C. Now, I went ahead and did a breathing treatment on this because, you know, there's a lot of things that I honestly didn't think it would work. I thought, yeah, come on. Ten bucks for a portable nebulizer. Because I know the last one I bought was like 150 And yes, it says light, and it's very... It feels very cheaply made. And, you know, this part... You know, the plastic is, feels very cheap. Who cares? That's not the part you're using that's important. But I did notice it has a very fast delivery time for your medicine. You know, which the, that's what they call how long it takes for, the for it to actually get all your medicine in your lungs. So the treatment times are a lot shorter than what, on my hard one. Would I use this as the only one I had? No. But it's great for like a backup or something for travel, things like that which I do travel a lot, and I have severe asthma. I don't have just, you know, mild versions. I have, I can be looking at you fine right one minute, and the next minute, I'm on the floor turning blue. So, this will be very handy. I'm loving it. I even told my one friend who's got COPD pretty bad, and I kept telling him, yeah, it's fine. But when, when you're stuck, like me, I, I take my asthma attack so far out of the blue. Uh, it, 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 it would be nice to have one just to put in my car. Just leave it like in the trunk of my car. And that way if I'm out somewhere and I need it, I can have it. Instead of having to tether myself to the house because my machine's here. Well, like her, you know, she goes through episodes. But still, there's a lot of times she'll, she'll come out to like one of the benefits. And then she'll say, I gotta go home. I gotta go take a breathing treatment. Where she could just go to the car, take a breathing treatment and come back in. So, that was... I was totally, totally shocked with that one. Okay, then the next thing I'm pulling out, I paid $369 for, and I don't think it's going to work for what I wanted it for, but I'll use it for something. But I, I was going to make it like a Halloween wreath like they did on my door, because I thought it'd be kind of cool. But this is what it looks like, but I'm not going to put it over my hair, because but that's what it looks like. And I thought, which I still probably could. I could probably stuff it with like a milk jug or something and do that. Because I just thought it would be cool to make another wreath like that. And I have, so I have that mesh that I had bought. And so I thought, well, I'll just do that. Give it to a friend or something. Do something with it, you know. And this I paid three fifty seven for. And I have another one of these. And I, for some reason, I only bought one. I think it was just because I wanted to see if they were any quality or not. But I need two because I need to go down one, each side of my door. But this is what it is. And they have little hooks here for you. All you got to do is put that on a hook. And then put this one on a hook and I mean this is how long it is I mean it'll go all the way down the side of your door and then I have some light ones that are just lights and I'm gonna wrap those in the middle so this will go on one side of the door and that'll go on the, the other one will go on the other side that's what that's for so we'll see how it all goes you know hopefully I can get it up next week because I have I have to move my yard first because I didn't do it today. And then, my guy friend, I've told you all about my crazy, my crazy friend. He's just a friend, but he's my guy friend. And he's, he refuses to get his cable turned back on until he gets his truck paid off. So he's watching TV on his little phone. And yes, I know you can run your phone through, your, through but nope, he ain't going to have none of it. So I got him this thing. And what it does is it you put your phone here, and it magnifies it through here. So it takes your phone screen and makes it that, that big. 
So, of course, I'm recording on my phone right now. So, I will let you know how that works out for him. But that was $3.11. And I, I'm just like, I don't think he's got a big screen TV. <laughs> so, that's what that's for. You goofy man that he is. And he, he refuses. says, nope, I'm not getting my cable back until I'm done with my truck payment. And I'm thinking, uh, how much longer you got with this truck payment? And I, I can't remember if he said the end of the year or the beginning of the year. But that'll have been two years. <laughs> and he stuck to it, so he's a man of his word. And then this, let's, let's show you this real quick. This was eleven forty nine. Now they got these smaller, but I wanted one big enough for my front door. And I probably got bigger than I actually needed. But my philosophy was better too big than not big enough. And I'm and that's my doormat. And I'll take a picture where it's Oops, I'm so sorry. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. But it's like he's looking through a grate. And I'll put it on the floor and take a picture and show you. But it also has, you know, the, on the back, the gripper on the back so it doesn't go flying. But I just thought that was so cool. And I thought, you know what? You're cool. You need that. And here's my floor mat in all its glory at, at the front door. Of course, I'll turn it around so when they walk in, that's what they'll see. But look how realistic that looks. Look at his eyes. Cool, huh? And this, I will be showing this again in a future video because that I'm working on. But I thought if it's in this this bag, I might as well just whip it out and show you. But but I'm working on another video for a themed video. But anyhow, I saw this on one of those Amazon must-haves, you know, on TikTok, you know how they do. Well, it looks like this, and this, see it's a pig, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's a pig. Okay, this is the lid, and this is the strainer, and this is the pot. Well, you pour your baking grease in it, and this gets all the chunks out, you know, all the char and grit, you know. And then, of course, you can empty this. And then, you just put the lid on. Right now, I'm using a oh, Cool Whip bowl. And I thought, and I don't know how many times I get ready to throw it away thinking it's just, you know, something that's been, leftovers has been in there. Because a lot of times, I'll use that stuff just so I don't have to wash it. If it goes bad, I just throw it away. So, I thought, well, at least I'll quit picking it up thinking, thinking it's that and trying to throw it away. And then, oh, I paid a dollar seventy nine, and this is lavender, and I got it. It's very strong, so I really don't want to show too much. But let's see if I can. Let's see if I can, because lavender is a trigger for me. But see how they are? It's just little, little tiny flowers. And that will be going into candles and soap for my one friend. And I might sell a few at the craft shows. Just, you know, we do that with the kids. Secret Santa with the kids. And then I got this. And it was two ninety-eight. Let me open it. Let's see, let's see if I can open it. And it it's wrinkled, but it won't matter. Because I did put my one that looks like Jason on the window, and I will show that at the end of the video or somewhere in the video. I got, I've got it where I took pictures at night, but I don't have any pictures of it. What it looks like in the daytime, I don't think. But anyway, what? there's usually at least one weak side on these things if you can find it, or a flat. And I, here's the flat. There we go. This is another Halloween decoration. And I try, yeah, you know, I haven't really done Halloween or Christmas the last couple of years, you know, my house-wise, because 
what? There's been no kids around. There's, it's just like, why bother? But now I have three little ones next door on this side, and she runs a daycare. So, but see it. Look, it says. It looks like this when you're done. It says, help me. Oh, I see. Where the hell these come off? Probably got a cover sheet. That's what the other one had. And then you had to put them on one at the time. But anyway, that's what it will be. I'm just going to go on the windows. <laughs> It says help me, so I will put those on the window and see what they look like. Hey guys, I tried to do these, but it's not going to work on the windows like, like I wanted them to because, see it'll come off like this so the letters will read backwards outside if I put them inside. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, so I'll just show that on my finished haul but if you got something where you can put them on outside it'd be great or on a wall it would be great for that and also because i'm not real bright the biggest thing i had i also got this and i paid 1048 for it and i saw this actually i saw it on one of those amazon things and i said i wonder if Kimu has that and it's what it is is it's a magnetic board that, of course, they didn't allow for the magnets on their little thing, so I'm going to have to cut that off. But, and it's dry erase, so I can schedule my videos more accurately. And it came with this little basket for your dry erase pens and a little eraser and a little bag. So I thought that would be cool too. But anyhow, sorry about sorry about the stickers. And then I got three of these magnetic chargers because mine went bad and they were $3.98. And I had the other one I had, I had probably a year, year and a half. But I do like these magnetic ones so I and I always get one for my chair one for by my bed and then one extra one and these are these are the long ones I always make sure I get the long ones but then I like to order extra so that way when they break or whatever I still have one to use now these I paid 315 for and this is a steal I don't remember how many's in here. I think I went right over top of it. Let's see if I can see. Let's see if I can see. Probably not. I think I went right over top of it. Made in China. Huh. I don't know. I think I ordered a total of 20. And it was $350 for 20 rings. And I got these mostly for the kids. At well, gee whiz, at craft shows for their parents. Let's see. I've got those ring. Let me just go get those ring displays. I'll put them in there, and then it'll be easier to show you that way. It's me again, guys. Hey, on this thing, I'm just stupid. It looks like this. <laughs> This one's just protective. Here I am trying to cut off the corners. I'm like, what the heck? Now I get it. <laughs> you knew I had to screw up at least once. Okay, I think I have it now. Okay, there was 20 in these. And these are so tagged and sized. And they all say stainless steel. And these are all round. And they all come in different sizes. Let's see, they're actually sized. But they are stainless steel. So I got 20 rings for $3 and something. So, you know, basically if I sell, sell them for $2, I sell two of them. I got my money back plus. So, and 
this didn't come with it. I had already bought those. And then the last thing on this, I paid $5.51. And guys, look at these. There are so many different ones. I don't see two alike in the whole thing. And these are, you know, completely rounded. They're not, they're well made. And I believe these were stainless too, which you know, means they won't tarnish your hand. And I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah, these I paid $5.51, and there's 50 of them here. That's less than 50. Yeah, that's 50, 55 cents a piece. So if I'm selling them at two, even $2 to these kids at this craft show, you know, this Secret Santa thing, if I sell them for $2, $2 a piece, I'm making $1.50 off each ring. Yeah, and then plus if I sell three rings, then the rest of it's all profit. So, you know... It's a heck of a deal, you know? And it's something e quick, easy, that you can sit alongside of your crafts and stuff. And every little bit helps. When it's all said and done, every little bit helps. Like, subscribe, do all the YouTube -y stuff. It really helps. And I will soon be turning on the... Basically, it's the same as buy me a coffee thing. You're under no obligation, but... The link is, will be down below. Every little bit helps. Thanks, guys. Come on back. Join us. Like, subscribe, do the YouTube -y stuff. Bye.